team grind how you live it it's the kid right the kid and i'm back with another video the video i'm gonna do right now is basically talk about hypocrisy and hip-hop but you find my channel the first time make sure you like comment subscribe and share that social medias look for my description look for my social media be in the description below hey yo i pretty much did a tiktok already talk about hypocrisy and hip-hop and one of the examples I'm going to use when it comes to Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Now, Gully Boy, shout out to Gully Boy. And this is no disrespect to Gully Boy. Gully Boy is one of my favorite YouTubers. And I like his album reviews. And I, his music that he suggests is pretty on point. It actually aligns with the kind of music that I like. But I kind of watched a video uh, where he talked about, you know, Kendrick Lamar being a hypocrite and Kendrick Lamar being a liar. And he's entitled to his own opinion. If he feel like Drake won, he feel like Drake won. It is what it is. Me personally, I got Kendrick Lamar winning. But, you know, let me let me stop that. that that's beside the point because that's not what I'm trying to say. And he brought up the fact that Kendrick Lamar was a hypocrite and he was a liar. Now, at one point in time, I was actually on that same wave, wavelength. I did not think a diss record should work if a person get called out for being a liar or a hypocrite but here's the thing I kind of figured out when it comes to hip hop or when it comes to just battle rapping in general and that is it don't have to be true it just has to hurt it just gotta hurt you in the, pu in the public of court opinion now let me give you an example 50 Cent 50 Cent in my opinion is one of the biggest hypocrites I have ever seen in hip hop I like 50 Cent music. I acknowledge he had a great one in hip hop, and I'm not, I acknowledge he had a real gangster. But 50 Cent is a massive hypocrite. I'm gonna give you some examples of that. Example number one, in the diss track Piggy Bank, 50 Cent said to Fat Joe, "That fat nigga thought Lean Back was in the club. My shit sold 11 mil. His shit was a dud." Now, if you grew up in the early 2000s, and when Lean Back came out. Lean Back was not a dud. Lean Back was being played in the hood. I was an owner to go at the clubs at the time, but I'm pretty sure it was played at the clubs. The song itself went gold. It was number five on the Billboard's high on the Billboard's high one hundred. So how is a dud? And here's another thing. People hated Ja Rule because he he evolved D uh, D12. Rest of Shady Aftermath and the beef they had nothing to do with. But, with 50 Cent involved Jada Kiss and Fat Joe in the beef that they had nothing to do with, people loved him for it. Because like I said, under pretense of 50's a real gangster, he's the walking personification of what gangster rap is, and Get Rich or Die Trying is one of the greatest rap albums of all time. And one thing I kind of figured out, and like I said, I still, fit, still like 50 Cent's a hypocrite. But, like I said, what I figured out was, it don't have to be true. It just had to hurt. Even in the case of Nas, we told Jay-Z, in 88, you again chasing your building. Call it my cribs and I ain't even give my numbers. I doubt Nas and Jay-Z knew each other during that time. But, it hurt, but it hurt Jay-Z and it hurt his credibility. And that's what it is when it comes, like, battle rap and hip-hop in general nobody cares if it's true only thing people cared about if it hurts now i'm pretty sure drake doesn't have a, a daughter out there we don't know about i don't know if kitchen lamar quote unquote hit women or not the thing is it doesn't matter it just has to hurt and what kitchen lamar said to drake it hurt Drake's credibility versus what Drake said about Kid Lamar, and it hurt his his credibility. It is how it is how it is. Let's be real. Else's people were were kind of hypocritical in a sense. Like for example, if a rapper we don't like get exposed for being a fake gangster rapper, everybody outside with pictures with um pit uh with um with torches and pitchfork. Sorry, with torches and pitchfork. Acting like they want to ban the dude for life. Let's get him up out of here. And this, that, and the third. But what a rapper we like. Get exposed for being being a fake gangster rapper. Then all of a sudden. Oh it was never about who's a real gangster. Who's this. Who's that. It was all about the music. People been doing that for years. 
Is it right? No. But it's just the way it is in hip hop. A lot of times we, we just don't care. It's one of the reasons why a lot of times rappers can move on with their careers. Even when they suffer a devastating loss. It's because as long as you still make good music, most part nobody really cares. Let's be real. In my opinion, Ja Rule would still be relevant in today's era if Ja Rule was cranking out hits. Let's just say every at least three or four years or so. Cranking out a hit that's on the charts, or whether it goes gold, whether it goes platinum. If Ja Rule was able to do that, nobody here would be saying that 50 Cent destroyed his career. It's because he stopped cranking out hits. That's what really hurt him. Well, that was a little quick video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share your social medias. Remember, everything's grinding. The underground takeover, man. Let's get it.